Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, I demonstrated why I shouldn't record while I'm sick. In this episode, I'm not taking my own advice because it's being recorded immediately after the last episode. Hooray! Uh, I guess we could save and see our new album picture because it's always nice to look at those. Uh, it looks like an exasperated Luigi and a Mario going, yee haw! I guess. Yeah, whatever. Just gonna keep on going through here. And hey, it's a coin. I definitely want to get that. Oh no, it actually wasn't a coin. What a shock. I don't know. It is a Tanumba, I believe it's called. It could turn into things. So as you saw, like, for a second, actually, it looks like a toad. But it had a little Tanuki tail to show you that it wasn't actually a toad. Uh, they could basically, I think they turn into uh, spike shells, which you have to jump over. And then they could turn into either thwomps, which you have to hit away with your hammer, or balloons that float down slowly and you have to hit away with the hammer. So, uh, pretty basic enemy, but I like the design of it. I like all the different cool attacks you could use. And uh, I'm not learning my lesson of just using my new ability over and over and over again. Go and do that. I like how it's just a little dent in his head so we can reach it up top. Get a bean. And uh, probably need to do this again. Uh, I can do that. There you go. And anything over here, we got another bean spot. Just dig right here. I could dig that. And we're stuck. Oh no, how terrible. And we got spikes up the booty. How also double terrible. Go over here. Grab these guys and worry our legs are lankier so we can get them out of that crevice. Power of teamwork at its finest. Let's go. Off the I guess this might be a good opportunity to show off the uh, copy flowers. So just press. It's sort of like the trampoline except it's a lot quicker. So uh, you get damage done quicker and maybe you're better at doing combos this way because it all stays on one singular screen. Let's try it out. Okay, so it's not random in which enemy it hits like the trampoline. You do get to choose which enemy you focus on until it gets KO'd and then it switches over to a different enemy. So, uh, but it is similar in the way that you get to just keep on doing attacks over and over and over again until you eventually mess up. It gets really sick and quick when using on bosses when you just keep on going faster and faster and faster. And it could be really fun and really hectic as well. Hello. Okay, that's a different attack for you. They could just turn yellow and- Oh, come on! They could turn yellow and- Oh, come on. They turn yellow and they attack both enemies that- We got block trousers. Cool. And Baby Mario got a level up. Hooray. They could turn yellow and they could just attack both enemies, both of us at the same time, but they also KO themselves in the process. So, uh, Mario wound up not getting any sort of- experience from that fight, which is lame, because it was, because they kept on respawning enemies, so it was going to be a lot of singing experience. Uh, plus three attack, why not? Baby Luigi. We got, uh, pretty good HP. HP or speed, probably. Oh, HP. Six, hooray. So Mario's now very far behind in experience in terms, in comparison to Luigi. Block trousers, what do those do exactly? Uh, trousers with hard blocks built into them, rolling around, not advised. Where the blocks are located, I don't want to know. Uh, decreases power for Mario, but increases defense by a lot. Luigi only increase, increases defense, so I will give it to him, because why the heck not? Mario's still got that crazy attacking pants right now, so I'm uh, going to give him that mushroom. Super shrooms. Uh, that should be good for now. I mean, that's really unfortunate. I would probably have to KO Luigi to get them even Stevens again, but I don't really like doing that. Uh, what's in here? We got more fans. So, we'll just go ahead and use the baby cakes. And, excuse me, just get in here. Taking away my baby cake time. Uh, hit this so we can get 20 coins. Uh, I believe we might have to go through here multiple cycles. No, not this area, though a future area maybe. Uh, moves that along so we could jump up there, which is very nice. Uh, we got that. And we got ourselves jumpity. Jumpity. Yes, we got ourselves jumpity. Get the babies and fight this Tanumba. Let's see if we can see some more of his attacks. Without totally KOing him first. Uh, let's see. Just jump and jump and jump. 
Uh, I'll mess up the action commands on purpose just because I want to see what you're all about. Would have been funny if I actually KO'd him anyway. Uh, so yeah, he jumps up there. And, oh jeez. So yeah, you kind of have to A, figure out which one he's going to attack, and B, uh, just time it correctly. Because with the bomb it goes pretty quickly, but with the balloon it will go really slow. Uh, jump again, and again, and again. And eventually he might go down. Or not, he'll just stay here forever. Okay, good, he's gone. That. Uh, let's see, 10, 2, 54, 10, uh, whatever. I'm not gonna stress too much about it. Gonna go in here. It'd be funny if, like, the block trousers was, like, a 1% chance drop from those enemies, and, like, everyone's like, oh my god, you got a super rare item, I just don't even know about it. It's like in Earthbound when it got the meteorite Onia, or, me or whatever it's called. It's just, a, it's just a rare selling item, but it's, like, a 1 in twenty eight chance item that I got from an enemy early on. Which is really, really funny. Hey, a new enemy over here. Let's go ahead and jump on him. I believe he has a really funny name. He is the... Oh, wait, no, we've seen him before. We saw him in Yoshi's Island. Okay, that's why it looks familiar. But yeah, it's a red coconutter. It's just like a regular coconutter, except more powerful. Except not really, because I took him out in one hit. And he just ran away, it seems. No. Oh, he's gonna do two attacks. Ooh, scary. And hey, I'm actually going to use the hammer for the first time in like a million stinking years. I just never use the hammer because like, I don't know, the jump is, uh, it's right there and easy to use. They can make it rain and heal themselves. Great. Like, I don't know, I just never use the hammer unless it's absolutely necessary because I don't really care about the stunning all that much. And usually I'm able to take out the enemies in one or two hits anyway, so it very rarely helps me out. Oh, uh, whatever. Maybe that's just me. Uh, I get a red pepper, which is nice. Uh, anything else around here doesn't look like it, so before we go up there, is there anything around here that I could get that I didn't show? Uh, no, I think we're gonna fly up there later. Uh, yes, so just jump down here. Do not get hit by that arrow. If you get hit by down here, then you will enter a fight with him. So, just go over here. I called it an arrow. It's like a spear or whatever. I don't know what things are called. Yeah, like, you really need me to tell you that at this point in time. Uh, just go ahead and do baby cakes and run down here do a little platforming nah, i knew that was gonna happen god darn it flatten me darn it god darn it why can't i Ugh. go through here and there you go. I don't know why that was so stinking difficult. Just flatten. Or not flatten, just dig. And... Oh, we still need more. Walk over here. It looks very stinking funny, so I guess that's... Uh, it's kind of nice. Also, when you stand under these things, it freezes time, so you don't have to worry about turning back to normal size. Uh, just go through here, get another bean, jump down here, get a courage badge. Is that what that said? I hope that was called a courage badge, because otherwise I'm going to have a heck of a time trying to find what the heck I just got in the badge location. It is counter badge. That's probably what it was. Uh, well, we already have one of them equipped. Increase damage done when counterattacking. Uh, I'm okay with Baby Mario having a lucky badge instead. Uh, did I mean to- Well, I guess I didn't mean to do that, because we can just go over here. Please be a warp pipe block. Anywhere in sight, maybe- Yeah! Thank you, they knew what I wanted to do. It's like this game was well designed or something like that. Uh, what do you guys say? This gear here, you see this? I mean, I can't tell- I can tell it's extreme, but for what it's used for? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess it's for spinning a propeller. If you were flat enough to trap that- uh, trap the air, you'd float and catch some huge air, right? And if you spun this gear, the propeller would speed up, and you'd catch huger air. Yeah, any flat dudes in the wind current would catch the most extreme air ever. Whoa, I kind of started floating or frothing at the mouth there. Still, it's pretty sweet, I guess, right? Uh, I guess so. Go ahead and do that, and start rolling right here. Uh, no, that's not what you do. Okay, just go over here. I believe you also freeze time when you're in the fans, so you don't have to worry about uh, the flatten thing decreasing. Yeah, so we do that, do that, and we float upwards. 
We see a lot of second blocks along the way, though. So we can get that. Oh, come on. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, you got those. Uh, hit this. It's probably required. And we're probably not going to get that L block right now. I can't jump to it, so let's go down here. And oh, I missed a block, whatever. Uh, let's try and get the boat this time. Hopefully, you just need one more cycle and we get to go. Just go, please. Thank you. Uh, it's already blowing high for us, so just float up here. Get this L block, which contains a 1-up super. And if we can reach over here before we land to the bottom, we get ourselves 10 coins. Okay. Just got in two cycles, not too terrible. Get back up and keep on going. Making good progress at least. I believe there's only one more area after this and then we'll be at the top of the mountain because Nintendo likes doing things in threes. Uh, we had up here, we got even more stinking thwack. Sorry for all the cuts, but them's the brakes on this LP. It's the running trend. Also, he's on the edge of glory. Three ice flowers and another enemy. Uh, if we throw them up here, we could get ourselves another bean. And keep on going. I don't know why I am getting all the beans, because, like, part of me is, like, questioning whether or not Fawful actually does get any new inventory throughout the rest of the game. And if he doesn't, then there's no real point in me getting beans. Oh, he disguised himself as a question mark block, which is kind of funny. Then there's no real point in me getting beans, because that's all they're ever used for, is for getting stuff from Fawful. So, uh, okay. Good. Right timing. I think if he does the flip, he'll go for Luigi, but if he does the flip, he'll go for Mario. That might be it. But yeah, I could just skip out on all the beans if I want to, but eh, might as well get them because they might come in handy later on, possibly, maybe not in the slightest. I think that block is a bit too tall for the babies to reach, so we're going to need to get the big bros to hit it, and it contains four super mushrooms, very nice. Now if we head up here, we got more tanumbas. I really do like the enemies in this game, they have really cool designs and whatnot. Uh, more coconutters. Let's split up, gain, or let's hit our heads on the ceiling, gain. Let's split up, gain. Hit that, hit that, and I guess we'll have a solo battle. Bring the babies on over here, and bro balls activate. Pick them up, keep on going. Oh, there's blocks down there, god darn it. Why do I need to be a perfectionist and get every single block on the way? Hey. Why, am I, why is it that I'm okay with skipping beans, but not blocks? Oh, oh come on. Hopefully this will be okay. Uh, yes it is. Okay, Ultra Drop. Oh, I was freaking out so much. There's another bean. Do I skip it? God darn it. Uh, can I even reach it with a toes worth twist? Survey says no. Uh, just to be extra careful. Let's float down and get that bean. Wow, I'm the best at video games. At least there's a warp pipe over here. So I don't have to bring them all back around town. Go back around here. And try this again. Or not. <laughs> what the fruit? Ugh. Ugh. Finally. That should not have been difficult. Also, there's a branching path that I missed over here, and of course, it requires all the stinking bros. Ugh. Give me a stinking minute. There we go. Coins for everybody. Let's keep on going. So, from what I'm just noticing here, the controls are kind of like not super tight, because like every time I want to like do a very super quick switch around, like throw the babies off, use the bros ball, just roll away. Like, I'm still controlling the other characters. I end up, like, having them scoop up the babies when I don't want them to. And it keeps happening more often than I would like it. So, it's just really stinking annoying that it keeps happening. Anyway, we are almost at the stinking summit. So, we're almost done with the stinking area. Not Didn't think I would be mad at this area, but... I, I have a lot of negative memories of this game just because I was so stinking bad at it first time playing it. But, I do like it because I have played it more than once. I remember on the second play, I was like, wow, this is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. And it was all, the, all fun and stuff. And I'm just like... I'm still enjoying it, it's just like, why am I failing at things that shouldn't be difficult? Maybe it's because I'm recording while I'm sick, and I shouldn't be doing that, but whatever, I don't learn my stinking lessons. i uh, just go in there. Like, right now, I'm trying to keep on jumping with the baby cakes, but they aren't letting me go over to them. It doesn't make any sense. I just wanted to check to see if there was any items! Oh, I hate life. 
Wait, I could just... What am I doing? Just do that. Let's float up here, see what we got. Uh... Got something, maybe? Oh, balls. Uh, just float up here. God darn it. Switch to Luigi, float up. And... Touchdown? We got something at least. I can, maybe? God darn it. Ugh. An ultra drop. Just do this again. I guess nothing wrong with doing multiple takes. Probably required to do it multiple times, but whatever. Just always aggravating. Let's go in here again. Uh, Luigi's spin. Got this right here, which is 20 coins. Float up here. We're already running out of time. Which I do not like. Did not mean to drop Luigi. Uh, come on! Baby Luigi, god darn it. Baby. Ugh. Oh, don't you dare! Okay, cool. Got that lowered. Really not liking a lot of these puzzles. Wasn't expecting that, but whatever. Uh, land on here. Get one coin. Hooray. At least I didn't have to go through another cycle just to get that. Dig a hole. Pop back up. Run across here. And we need to get back together. Oh, we're almost to the singing summit. Let's just hurry up and keep going. Uh, roll around here. Get... Not that. Get this. Three super mushrooms. I have nothing of it. Wait, he was disguised as another enemy when pretending... He was an enemy disguised as another enemy. Okay, sure. Why not? Luigi gets a level up, but not Mari because I messed everything up. Hooray. Uh, we got... Uh, speed's looking good. Stash is looking amazing. Let's go with stash. Plus six. We very rarely use stash, so probably should keep up with that, I suppose. Just keep on going up here. Almost there. I don't know how many times I can keep on saying we're just almost there. I just really want to be done with this area, even though we just got here. And there's Mario's level up, level 20. Very, very nice. Uh, we got pretty good HP. Really good attack. Let's go for it. Plus six. Very, very good. As if Mario wasn't overpowered enough already. Get that block. Three ice flowers. Uh, head on over here. Three bros flowers. I, I, you know, I just realized uh, the fire flowers are called fire flowers, but the bros... Wait, no. What? You know, I just realized the fire flowers are called bros flowers, but the ice flowers are just called ice flowers. What? Ices can't be bros i guess because frozen reference i don't know uh hit up here we made it to the top at least oh my god peach turned into a crown mm -hmm. travesty if princess peach's tiara is here could it be that she and bowser tumbled into the volcano hmm. well that'd be rather unfortunate if that were the case I cannot compute our ill luck. Our timing is beyond horrible. If we don't put a stop to that eruption, eruptionizing, we're doomed. Let's go. Let's go. Guess we gotta look for a safe haven. Uh, just gonna run down here because it's the only place left, so it's obviously gonna be the safest. Even though we fight enemies along the way, it's totally fine to just pause and do that. Ouch. There's the balloon, in case you wanted to see it. And yeah, I was right about my assumption. If they spin, they'll attack Luigi. If not, they'll attack Mario. Maybe Mario gets a level up. Hooray! Uh, let's look at Stash. Stash is never looking super great. The speed looks good. Plus six. Very nice. Maybe Luigi, level 21. And we got ourselves... Okay, okay. Uh, speed is also looking... Stash looks really good on him, so plus two. Of course, you don't really get a good number, but whatever. Oh my god, the scary music is back! Attack all the enemies in the process because I like to level grind, even though I really shouldn't do it, or I do probably don't even need to. Hey, it looks like the Chain Chop party member made it into a Mario RPG after all. Even though we're at risk of dying, I gotta get all the money! Oops, I missed. How careless of me. 
Mario's a little bit ahead of Luigi now in terms of experience, but that's the way it always should be because he's Mario. Okay, enough cutting out singing battles except for this one right here. Even more greediness, hooray ice flowers. In case it wasn't super obvious at this point, the girl had no actual danger. There's no time limit for this. It's not like the end of Superstar Saga. Uh, spoilers. Uh, get that, get that. We're good. Uh, just keep on heading down. And what do you say we enter this mysterious cabin of sorts that I have no idea whatsoever what it could possibly be. It can't possibly be some sort of thing that we know about. No, why would you ever think that? So since we're in no actual immediate danger, how's about we end the episode off while the volcano is erupting? Maybe by the time the next episode begins, the volcano will stop. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we are going to enter this mysterious cabin of sorts where I have no idea who could possibly be inside. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.